Hey everybody, Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control. So you think you have springtails. Let's address how to eliminate springtails in today's video. Uh, first step to eliminating springtails is first we have to make sure we have them at all. So let's talk about identification. How do we identify springtails from other types of bugs that may be getting into our home? Springtails are attracted to uh, wet, moist, damp type environments. For example, places that mildew or mold can grow in. Bathrooms, kitchen areas, places that are readily, that have water readily available as a source, a lot of times will attract springtails. But why do springtails get into our homes? Why are they coming in? Where did they come from? They weren't born in the house. They had to come from somewhere outside. So if you have mulch around your home, if you have an in-ground sprinkler system where it keeps the ground nice and damp so the, so the grass will grow well, bushes and shrubbery and stuff like that will grow well, um, these are things that will actually cause springtails to get worse. It will attract springtails to your home because you have mulch beds that hold moisture in. You have, uh, like I said, a sprinkler system where the ground is always uh, damp. So these are things that attract springtails. Also, in newer subdivisions where homes are getting put up all the time, a lot of times one builder will, like for example, there are, there are a group of homes going in in my local area in Charlottesville. Uh, Ryan Homes is, is a company that puts in houses, and they have these whole areas of like 100 acres where they'll divide it off and they'll put up a whole bunch of houses. And typically they have the same company come in and lay sod. All right, so that's one way that you can have springtails is they will breed in sod because sod has to be kept, of course, wet or the grass will die. And they go out and they roll it out or they'll lay it out in sheets. And so the springtails will actually, you're bringing them in when you lay sod. So that is a way that you can have springtails is you can have them from sod. So if they're in the grass and they're in the ground and they're in the mulch, how do we deal with them? So we've identified we have springtails. The way we identify springtails is the difference between like a springtail and let's say a super tiny like a sugar ant is that they will actually bounce. So if you go and mess with a springtail and, and aggravate a springtail and make them irritable, they will actually spring up and bounce away. And just so you know, that ballpoint pen, that tip right there, the very tip of the ballpoint pen, that's how big a springtail is. There are ants that size, so don't get them confused because the treatment is a little different for ants and springtails. So we've identified that we have springtails in our home. How do we treat for springtails? So the way we're gonna do an effective treatment is we're gonna target areas like, I said, kitchens, bathrooms, basements, places that are prone to water, places that are prone to, to, uh, to a wet environment. Look around the outside of your home. Are your gutters clean? Because springtails will breed in gutters. If you have problems with dirt, because uh, what will happen is leaves and leaf clutter and debris and pine needles and things like that will actually start to accumulate inside your gutters and they turn, they decompose and they turn to dirt and they stay wet and moist all the time. And so this is a place that springtails like to li live. Of all the videos on YouTube I've looked at and, and tried to see, you know, because when people come and they ask me, for a video, I usually go and search and see if there's another source available. I've noticed a lot of people skip the gutters. Nobody really thinks about the gutters, but springtails will breed in your gutter. So check your gutters, make sure they're all very clean. Uh, also, if you're a mulch person and you treat, uh, you have mulch around your house, you need to treat your mulch. So what I recommend is bifenthrin granules or bifen granules. What these do is you can get a spreader which all this, all this stuff will be linked below. Everything that I am talking about on the video today, you can find on my Amazon store account, or I will actually link the products themselves so you can see them and you can uh, learn what you can use to effectively eliminate springtails. And of course, I've got lots of links for spiders and crickets and all kinds of things if you're interested in getting rid of bugs on your own. And maybe you don't have problems with springtails, maybe you have problems with ants. All that information is linked below, so be sure to check that out. But so what I recommend is a spreader. 
So you put your granules in the spreader and you kind of go around like this and you spread them all over your mulch all the way around the perimeter of the home. And so what you've done is you've created a barrier around the home that if the springtails, say the springtails are in the yard and they're coming to the house and they're getting into the mulch beds, the mulch is treated now with a bifenthrin granule that will kill the springtails and keep them from being able to harbor inside your mulch. So now you've done that. What about this? You can't use granules in your home. So how are we going to eliminate the springtails that are actually in our home? Because once they're in the home, they can live in the home. Uh, check around areas under sinks check under dishwashers. Make sure you don't have a leak. Eliminate all leaks if possible. Uh, if you've ever had a roof leak, try to get it repaired. Um, so that's one thing you can do. Also, we're going to use a chemical application. We're going to treat around the baseboards in the home. The places that the springtails like to live is they like to live down around the baseboards. They like to live around your window sills uh, because these are major entry points for springtails if they're coming from outside. So treat around all of your window sills. Uh, if you need to, lift your window and treat around your windows and then close the window back down. And that way you've got a nice barrier seal there that if the springtails do try to crawl in, they'll go through that residual pesticide and they die. Now we're going to use around the outside of the home, we're going to use uh, Talstar which will activate the granules that we've spread around the mulch. It will also um, treat around windows, treat soffits, treat doorways, treat all the way around any area that the springtails could possibly get into your home. We're going to do a crack and crevice treatment all the way around the house and this will kill the springtails that are trying to get in. You can even treat up the wall up to two feet and out away from the wall up to two feet as a band treatment around the entire house that will eliminate the springtails where they breed and where they crawl. So how are we going to prevent this problem in the future? This is the third step. So this is actually only three steps to this. Most of the steps I've been doing are like four easy steps. This is actually only three steps. So we're going to go into prevention next. How do we prevent springtails from being a problem in the future? As long as you've gone through and fixed the problems where you're having moisture issues in your home, you eliminate those problems, that's going to help a lot. If you have mulch around your home, realize that when people bring mulch and they put new mulch, because you have to replenish your mulch about once to twice a year because it rots and it goes away and so you have to put more mulch out. Try to get away from using wood mulch. Wood mulch holds moisture in. I can't stress this enough that wood mulch is bad to put around the foundation of your home. Not only does it attract things like springtails, cockroaches, ants, lots of bugs, it also attracts termites. Wood laying on the ground attracts lots of things to get into your home and it feeds termites and then termites are only inches away from your home and all they have to do is explore out and then there they are in your home doing major damage. Now, you don't have a nuisance like springtails, you have serious damage from termites. So, I recommend moving to something like a wood mulch, like not a wood mulch, but a, a rubber mulch or a rock or like a decorative stone or something like that. If you just don't want the weeds growing up to the house, you, they've got lots of uh, like products out there that you can lay on the ground to keep weeds and stuff from growing through. And then you just lay like a rock or a rubber mulch on top and that will eliminate the problem with the springtails coming up to the house because you're not going to have that moisture building up around your foundation. Also, you want to trim your bushes. So if you've got boxwoods and other types of bushes growing up against the foundation, trees and shrubbery actually hold moisture against the wall of the house. So it actually will prevent the uh, water from properly evaporating. And so it just creates like a, um, a rainforest type effect all the way around the perimeter of your home or wherever you have shrubbery. So what I recommend is trimming your bushes back about a foot or two away from the wall so your wall will actually breathe and you don't have that moisture buildup between the shrubbery and the wall. And if you do all these things, you're guaranteed to eliminate your springtails. So uh, if you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe to the channel, share it around. If you know anybody with problems with springtails, send them a link. And hopefully this will help you get rid of springtails in the future.
You guys have a really great day. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.